We have breaking news here on the Clay Edwards Show YouTube channel. J.D. Vance is officially Donald Trump's pick to be vice president for the 2024 election. The news is breaking here in live time. We've got the Wall Street Journal. I'm sorry, the New York Times pulled up here. But I want to go back to X and read Donald Trump's post from Truth Social. That's a mouthful. Back to X to read Donald Trump's Truth Social post. But uh, here's what Trump has to say. After a lengthy deliberation and thought and consideration, the tremendous talents of many others, I have decided that the person best suited to assume the position of Vice President of the United States is Senator J.D. Vance from the great state of Ohio. J.D. honorably served our country in the Marine Corps, graduated from The Ohio State University in two years, summa cum laude, and is a Yale Law School graduate. Where he is, where he was, editor of the Yale Law Journal and president of the Yale Law Veterans Association. JD's book, Hillbilly Elegy, became a major bestseller and movie as it championed the hardworking men and women of, the, of our country. JD has had a very successful business career in technology and finance, and now during the campaign, will be strongly focused on the people he fought so brilliantly for the American workers and farmers in Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin. Ohio, Minnesota, and I'm going to add this to it, Mississippi. I like the J.D. Vance pick. I think you need somebody that's got some dog in them. I love Ben Carson. I'd take a bullet for Ben Carson. But I just think you – and same for Tim Scott. I think they just – they. it's hard for my white trash butt to sit here and say they ain't got no dog in them. They're very, very successful men that obviously got some dog in them. But I just mean with that media, with the opposing side, these dudes got some dog in them. J.D. Vance, I would have been just as happy with Byron Donaldson, uh, Vivek Ramaswamy, and others. Let's see what the opposition is saying. Let's go over here to the New York Times. Maybe they're not acting like opposition today, you know, since Trump got shot and all because of their eight years of rhetoric. It says, uh, live election updates, J.D. Vance is Trump's choice for vice president. A politician newcomer, I'm sorry, a political newcomer and former Trump critic turned ally. The senator is, is, is an ambitious, telegenic, tele, telegenic, I'm sorry, I can't read today, telegenic ideologue who relishes the spotlight and has already shown he can energize donors. Let's see here. The Senate newcomer and author of Hillbilly Elegy was once a Trump critic. Former President Donald Trump has chosen, yeah, former President Donald Trump has chosen Senator J.D. Vance from Ohio to be his running mate. Wagering that the young senator will bring fresh energy to the Republican ticket and ensure that the movement Mr. Trump began nearly a decade ago can live on long after him. Mr. Vance is 39 years old. He's a political newcomer who entered the Senate only last year, but he has spent that time methodically ascending the conservative firmament. Once a separate Trump critic, that's my, that's my low vocabulary coming back to haunt me there. I don't know what that word means. Eccentric, basically. Attacking Mr. Trump as reprehensible and calling him a cultural heroine. He won Mr. Trump's backing in his 2022 Senate campaign by wholly embracing his politics and his lies about a stolen election. Now, they're lying. The endorsement lifted him above a crowded field and ultimately to the Senate. The news of Vance Pitt came as Dr. Kevin Roberts, the president of the Heritage Foundation, was talking to reporters. He reacted to the news with a broad smile on my face and said that privately we were really rooting for him. Dr. Roberts praised Mr. Vance's conservative credentials. Uh, the Heritage Foundation is the people who came up with Project 2025 that's got the Democrats all in a fervor. I love it. Whatever they hate, I love. Doesn't matter what it is. If Democrats hate it, I love it because they're always on the wrong side of everything the last few years. Let's see here. Uh, Michael Gold, reporting from Milwaukee, says the Ohio delegation just announced that it was awarding delegates to Trump with a chance of J.D. erupted on the floor. Let's uh, snap a few pictures here. No, we can't complain on music. All right, so J.D. Vance is the man. Let's, uh, let's jump over to Twitter, see what folks are saying. We got libs of TikTok here. Uh, Vance just came out in support of abortion pills. What an awful pick. Guys, I hate to be the bad guy here because I'm 100% pro-life. But that's not a fight we're going to win. If we're in it to win a fight and try to be the gas, I mean, the brakes of the Democrats' gas on abortion, 
So there's going to have to be a little bit of a little bit of compromise here and there, unfortunately. Because we overturned Roe, we kicked it back to the states. I don't know what else we can do. I, I really don't. I guess you could do a nationwide ban, but the Democrats will just undo it when they get control again. Which I guess if you can save one life, I, I get it. I get it. I'm just saying, if we're talking about winning elections here, a nationwide abortion ban, don't win elections. It, it, that's all I'm saying. Take that as you will. I've been, that's my hill to die on. I'm just saying. Let's see here. This guy says, J.D. Vance's selection as vice president by Donald Trump is a strategic move aimed at bolstering support among working class voters. Vance's personal journey from struggling Rust Belt background to success in law, the military, and venture capital gains with Trump's appeal to the same demographic. I like it. Look, I, I would have loved Byron Donaldson. I, look, I, me and my buddies were talking today. We thought maybe, just maybe, it could be Robert Kennedy Jr., I, would, I like RFK Jr. as a VP. I don't like handing RFK Jr. the keys to the castle. They love to talk about Camelot so much. The keys to the castle as the president because other than his take on the vax, I don't really agree with him on a whole lot, especially when it comes to the Second Amendment and big tech censorship. So, And I may be wrong with his big tech censorship stuff. Don't quote me on that, but he ain't a big, he ain't a big gun guy. So at the end of the day, he's a Democrat with a bunch of liberal policies that I don't agree with. And unless he, anybody's in his 60s, he ain't going to change. He ain't going to change. So it is what it is. Uh, let's see here. So uh, let's theorize. says, should have been Vivek. Mike, let's roll with it and destroy our communist government. I think it's a very solid pick. Now this chick says, horrible choice. I'm shaking my head. He brings, he brings nothing to the ticket. Here's my thoughts on that. Does he need to bring anything to the ticket? I don't think anybody brings more than what Trump brings to the ticket. I thought RFK Jr. was the only jolt to the system. You know, because you bring kind of two sides together. I thought that would have been a jolt to the system. I don't know that any other, if you're being honest with yourselves. I mean, of course, Trump supporters love Vivek because he acts like Trump. I know I do. But I'm already voting for Trump. Like, I don't know, was there anybody else up there that put middle of the road voters to the right? I, I don't think so. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, I don't think anybody, no other candidate pulled voters one direction or the other. So, I like, I like Vance. It, it should help with Ohio. Big swing state. We're going to need Ohio. So, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. We'll be making more videos, more content. Tune into the Clay Edwards Show tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., 103.9 FM, WYAB in central Mississippi. Of course, please don't ever forget, man, if you live in central Mississippi and you uh, need testosterone replacement therapy, maybe you, got, maybe you got low testosterone, we're giving free testosterone screenings at Men's Health of Mississippi. All you got to do is text my name, Clay, to 601-327-855. Zero, get your free testosterone screening today. I am two years into my testosterone treatments and life has never been better. I actually just left the pharmacy picking up my my 10-week refill a minute ago. Uh, you may be asking yourself, well, Clay, how do I know if I'm suffering from low T? Well, some of the symptoms could be could include but not be limited to fatigue, decreased muscle tone, lack of energy, low libido, that's your sex drive, guys, brain fog, and sleep disturbances. Text them today. 601-327-8550. Just throw my name in there, Clay, and they'll get in touch with you, get you your appointment set up, and get you a free screening today. And you will be on to enjoying life. Your bedroom life will get quite spicier. And you and your significant other will be sending me Christmas cards saying, Clay, thank you so much for getting me to go get my testosterone straightened out. Stay safe. Stay blessed. And God bless Donald J. Trump as we move forward to make America great again, again. I didn't say anything about the shooting Saturday. I don't think we have to. Did a video about it earlier. We'll do other stuff about it. I think after Saturday, it didn't matter who Donald Trump picked, but it was it was a very important pick because you got to put somebody in there that can grab MAGA, grab America first. When Trump steps down, 
and ride them to the house. And I think J.D. Vance long-term, keyword there, long-term is that guy because we're going to hit the reset button in four years and do this all over again. You clear the deck. You have a VP. But, man, our bench, I know people say this all the time, that Republican bench is strong. If you're a Republican right now, we can get past Democrat shenanigans at the ballot box. We, we got a strong bench on our team. We, we got a Super Bowl winner. Y'all stay blessed.